Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 542. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to create a pivot table to count how many, how many times a word occurs in a Word document. Now, here's a Word document, and uh, really, to convert this data and get the individual words, you've got to get rid of the punctuations. Uh, get it over into Excel, and then uh, get all of the individual words, including duplicates, into a single column. Now, I do not know how to do VBA, let alone VBA in Word. So there's probably a much better way to do this. But uh, let's just hack your way through this. Um, I'm going to Control A, and then I'm going to remove all of the formatting. I know the keyboard shortcut, but I'm not sure where it is up here. Um, Remove formatting. Oh, that must be it right there. Remove formatting. Alt E A A. If I control Z, Alt E A A. Alt E A F removes all the formatting. Now, the nice thing about that is it gets rid of, uh, you know, numbered lists and stuff like that. So Alt E A F. Uh, and then we need to replace. I need to get away, get a, rid of all this punctuation. So I'm going to use Control H. And I need to find, I'm going to first find a comma, and I'm going to re, um, replace it with a space. Then I'm going to say replace all. I found 15, yes. Um, and now this is kind of a hack way to do it, because what if you download this and there's all sorts of strange, strange characters? Really, you need VBA to search the, all the thing for you know a set of characters and uh, replace them. All right, we'll get rid of a semicolon, replace all. No semicolon. Hmm. How about a uh, open parenth? How about a period, and then replace all? And how about an open parentheses? You know, kind of looking through this, I'm trying to figure out what there is. Uh, replace all. How about a uh, open parentheses? Replace all. Now uh, I'm going to look through this. Uh, oh, explanation point. Someone using someone is using too many explanation points. A question mark, probably me. Replace all. Um, and then there's a strange thing right here, which I don't know how to type this in, so I'm going to copy it and place it right here, and replace all. Now what it's doing is putting lots of spaces, including uh, uh, multiple spaces. But when we separate all these words out into individual cells, uh, that won't matter. So it looks like we got all the punctuation again. That is not a good way to do it. All right, now I'm going to Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Each one of these paragraph marks will end up in a cell. So I'm going to go over to Excel, and I'm going to Control V. I'm immediately going to hit F5 to go to special, blanks, right click, delete, delete the, the cell, shift cells up. And now I have this, I need to separate these into individual cells. Um, I'm going to use data, text to column, the delimiter, which is some sort of character that separates the things you're trying to split apart. It's going to be a space. It usually comes up like that. You just here's the preview, right? As soon as you hit space, boom. Treat consecutive delimiters as one. If you don't do that, the multiple spaces will end up in blank cells with spaces. I'm going to click finish. Now I need to highlight all this. Control asterisk, Control C, and I'm going to right click, paste special transpose. In earlier versions, it says um, you have to go to paste special. Um, Pay special and then transpose. So now I have this in columns. I, I mean, I have this in columns. This is not going to work. I want them all in one column. I'm going to click up here, Control Asterisk, and then Delete. Delete all those rows. Uh, and now I need to copy each one of these like this, and then. Control CC opens the uh, clipboard, or use that right there to open the clipboard. I'm going to keep it as small. If you highlight a bunch of columns like this and then click Paste All, it'll all, all end up in one column. Now I'm going to do this with keyboard shortcuts. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control C. Notice the active cell is right there. So then I right arrow, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control C. Right arrow, even though I'm way down there, because the active cell was right there. 
control shift down arrow, control C, right arrow, control shift down arrow, control C, control shift down arrow, control C, control shift down arrow, control C, right arrow, control shift down arrow, control C, right arrow, copy, and then I think that's about it. Oh, no, a couple more. All right, now I'm going to I have all of this stuff over here. I'm going to click here, control asterisk, and then delete. Hopefully I won't clear this. Now I'm going to type here words, control B, enter, and then I'm going to paste all. And there's all the words. Now I'm going to do a pivot table, pivot table. Alt NVT or Alt DP in earlier version, Alt NVT. I'm going to say uh, existing worksheet. I'm going to place the pivot table right here and then click OK. And then I drag the words to the row area or in earlier versions right there. And to that gives us a unique list and then I drag the values there. All right, so uh happened seven times. Uh, 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 and nine times. Uh, can seven times. Course completed. Ooh, complete. So one each. Um, words like uh, what's the word? We could do the the ma max of that and try. And there's twelve. Anyway, so that's how to uh, count two individual. How many times in a specific word happen in a Word document hacked way. Really, I should have just done the pivot table. I should have just started with a list because there there is a much better way to uh, you know get all those words using some sort of macro in Word. But once you get it over to Excel, boom, it's straightforward pivot table. All right, see you next trick.